One of the most often overlooked considerations is window size. FileMaker solutions should only have one scroll bar ever. And that's only in list view so you can scroll up and down through the list of records. Therefore, it's very important to determine the screen resolution of your users. So let me show you what I mean. This is a form view. You can tell because it's in form view. It's designed to show one record. List view is designed to show multiple records. So in form view, you need to make sure that your solution doesn't look like this on somebody's screen. They don't want to have to scroll down or to the right if their screen isn't big enough because you've made your window too large. We don't want that to happen. So it's very important that you start off by determining your audience, whether it's commercial or in-house. If it's a commercial solution, you really don't know what you're going to have out there. So you have to determine a minimum resolution. And all, solu all applications out there, all programs out there do this. It says it right on the box. So you need to determine that what that is. And usually it's a good idea to go with something that's you know below the norm, a little bit below, not way below. And you can look at that by going into System Preferences on the Macintosh and going to the Display section. You can see mine's 1366 by 768. That's probably a good resolution to aim for. But it's up to you. You've got to decide what works best. Maybe it's a really high-end solution that only video designers use, and they usually have gigantic screens. We'll design it bigger. It's up to you what you need. Now, if you're on Windows, you can look at the resolution also, but it's, I'm not going to be able to show it here right now. But you sure, uh, certainly can find it very easily. It'll be similar to what you see here. Now, if you're an in-house developer, you need to look at everyone's computer and design for the minimum resolution. Either that or get those people to change their resolution. But a lot of times people make the resolution lower so the font's bigger so they can see it more easily and that won't happen. You've got to, you can't get that scroll bar effect. You've got to make sure that people can see the whole solution and it's much better. So here's how you design. Once you've decided the size, which I'm deciding is going to be almost as big as this entire screen, you make the window bigger make it bigger down here. Now you've got to account for certain things such as you might have a task or dock on the right side, the left side, or the bottom. So that's going to take up some space. So you can't design for the entire width. But you also need to realize that we'll ultimately get rid of this toolbar right here. So you have a little bit of extra space to work with there. With that said, you've got to design what you think is the best size layout. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger bring it down here that looks pretty good and then grab this little bar move it over and let's see how that looks in browse mode now you can see I've got a little bit more space to work with here especially when I don't have the toolbars turned on so we're going back into layout mode and we'll make it a little bit bigger and you might fiddle around with this but every layout's going to be based on this so you don't have to do this more than once because we'll duplicate layouts. And so once you get your layouts the right size, in other words, you get this explicit width the right width, and you get the sum of your parts the right height, because it's going to be all the parts added together, then you're going to have a perfectly sized layout. And this is looking pretty good. I've got a little bit of a scroll bar there, so I'd want to make my window bigger or make my parts smaller. But I'm not going to play around with this on screen. You get the idea. Design your screen or design your window for the minimum screen so that you don't get those scroll bars.